The I-Team broke the story of massive DNA delays and murder evidence sitting in labs. In the six years since that investigation and recently, there have been major DNA backlog improvements, but there are still challenges facing the state's crime labs. We saw a decrease in backlogs across the board the deputy director of forensic services at the Illinois State Police, Robin Woolery, says the state crime lab system has made huge strides in the last few years, bringing down the number of criminal cases that need to be analyzed. How big of a decrease has there been in the backlog? There's been a 37% decrease in the backlog, which would include homicide, sexual assaults, any, any case, uh, crime against person case, along with property crime cases. And Woolery says turnaround time went from seven months to four months. In 2018, Carmia Tang talked about her son's unsolved Chicago murder case. Nothing's going to bring him back, but I want justice. Tang and Chicago police said that detectives waited a year and a half for the state's labs to process the DNA found at the crime scene. When the DNA was finally processed, it came back inconclusive. Her story prompted the I-Team to use the Freedom of Information Act to analyze the state's backlog. We found that in 2018, there were 766 Chicago murder cases waiting to be analyzed by the Illinois Forensic Science Lab meaning law enforcement wasn't getting the information they needed to catch murderers. That investigation prompted recently retired state Senator Patricia Van Pelt to hold a series of hearings. A lot of families now have resolution. And you know what, I have to give a lot of credit to Channel 7 because once we got the media involved and they began to look at it and follow us, it encouraged the community members to keep pushing forward. Through a new FOIA, the I-Team found that the state labs have slashed that Chicago murder backlog. Now they have 118 unfinished DNA lab assignments. I'm really happy that, you know, we've gotten down where we are. We still have a lot more to do. Uh, we still have a, um, a, a backlog. And the question has to be, how soon can I get you those results? In 2019, ISP started showing the I-Team its new procedures and tools used to reduce the DNA delay in labs. Then in March of 2020, we got a tour and demo of the state's new rapid DNA technology. Rapid DNA can be used when there is a known suspect in the case. But ISP says the biggest difference has been made with the use of robotics. Instead of having one analyst do each of those by hand, uh, the robot is set up to be able to extract um, a multiple number of samples quicker. Here's one place where those robots are being used, the state's new 10th crime lab indicator. We're looking at this being a game changer for us. The state has also hired more analysts here and other locations and is working to bring in 27 more lab staff members. But there are challenges. Well, one of the things we need most is employees. Van Pelt wants to shorten the hiring process, which can take a year or more. It's a, a special problem with the state of Illinois because it takes so long for a person to be hired. I really think there's a, a legislative pathway where we may be able to cut through some of that red tape. Van Pelt says many families have benefited from the backlog improvements. They did not want to talk on camera, but she says those families have seen cases solved recently thanks to the process speeding up. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.